All right, welcome back, and we're going to move on to Module 6, and Module 6 is going to be kind of a build-out on Module 1 because it continues with you. We're going to talk to you about you in certain different elements that we did in Module 1. Lesson 1 is now about lifestyle. Let's discuss the meaning and what it really means, okay? People make their decisions based upon one of two dynamics, usually. They make that decision based on lifestyle, or they make decisions based on life experience. It depends on what kind of emotional event you're getting ready to have or financial event you're getting ready to have, whether it's going to be driven by lifestyle or driven by life experience. So we want to talk about what that really means when it's driven by lifestyle. Well, lifestyle is ego-driven. It's self-imaging. It's external. It means that you're concerned with the way you're perceived outside of yourself. That's lifestyle, okay? It's basically conformity accepted. It's keeping up with the Joneses. That's a sense of conformity. So you are conforming to the rest of the things around you. This is lifestyle. But basically, when you look real close at this, it's how others see you. It goes back to that ego issue on how you're being perceived and seen by others. I usually like to make the comparison when people buy a Mercedes. Okay, some people buy a Mercedes because it's lifestyle. That means that they drive it for the essence of who they are, the impression it gives. It's the aura it passes off, right? So basically, it's a lifestyle decision. They're not thinking about anything else about that vehicle. It's just lifestyle driven. Now, some people who are life experience driven they want to know about the engineering, the safety. They want to know their family is going to be safe in the car. They may want more seats because their family is expanding. They think about those kinds of things. So it's emotionally driven. It's a life experience issue. It's not a lifestyle issue. Now, neither one are good or bad. Again, they're neutral. They are what they are. You just need to understand what drives you. And hopefully you need to be congruent with what drives you. You need to make sure that you stay in that framework. Now, for the most part, lifestyle has some materialism attached to it on lifestyle. So basically, it is about the money. Now, we know that the perception of money should be that money's neutral. And how you perceive it is always going to be your choice. Now, things and accumulations are not evil, okay? You know, many people say, ooh, the love of money, okay? Right? The root of all evil is the love of money. But the root of all evil gets confused with money is the root of all evil. It's just not true. It's not, it's misconception. The bottom line is the love of money, of course, if you put that in front of you, you're just going to repel things. But again, things and accumulation, they're not evil. It's a matter of your own personal motivation. What really drives you? What makes you want to do what you want to do? Okay? If you stay true to that, you're going to be able to accumulate a great deal of wealth. If you fight that, or if you allow beliefs to be incongruent and you allow beliefs to fight and battle each other, you're going to have a hard time. So here's lifestyle. It's personal choice. We discuss why people buy a Mercedes. It's a beautiful Mercedes. That picture says it all. Person who buys it for lifestyle, it's all in that picture. That's really what it means. It means how others react and how they view you. So that is a lifestyle issue. Now, nothing wrong with becoming wealthy because you want to drive a lifestyle. That's fine. Bottom line is become congruent within your own beliefs and values and understand why you do what you do. I'll see you in the next lesson.